I'm Diogo Samaranta, I'm from Portugal. I'm presenting Present Light, uh, which is a, a film that talks about empathy, and I would uh, sum it up as a portrait of uh, Diana that somehow talks about the importance of uh, uh, being open to uh, accidental meetings that can actually trans transform us, uh, turn something that's bad into good. Hi and welcome to the 35th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wutig and today I'm here with director Diogo Costa Maranda to talk with him about his beautiful short film A Present Light. Hi Diogo, how are you doing? Hi, hi Jan. Hey. Fine. <laughs> and thank you immediately for the word beautiful. <laughs> <I was even laughs> yeah. Well that's that's actually how I felt. I mean it's it's there's a lot in this movie, right? There's um so many things, uh, like there's, there's, it's very romantic in a sense. It's mm -hmm. also very, um, there's, there's something to be said about the, the importance of beauty, about how one moment can basically change your entire perspective. Maybe you can tell us a little bit just for an int introduction in your own words, um, what your idea of the story of the film was, what you mm -hmm. wanted to, to get across, what, what the story is. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you don't mind, I would, uh, because normally my films, they come from an experience that happened and then, you know, I go back and turn it into a film. So maybe the way I met Diana, I think it's the best, at least for me, mm -hmm. key to read more of the film somehow. Yeah. So I was, I was living outside the country for a long time and then I came back and then I got my first funding here in Portugal to write a feature and I moved to Porto, which is the north of Portugal. And I installed myself in this neighborhood, it's called Fontinha. And uh, so I bought also my first moto, which is the one that is in the film. <laughs> and uh, when I started to ask around the people where would be the safest place to park the moto during the night, people started to say, oh, you should park nearby Diana because Diana is taking care of this uh, neighborhood. I mean, nobody, you know what I mean, will even dare to try oh. to think yeah. bad or harsh to yeah. these people, leave it there. So for, I, 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 well, I rented an apartment and I was there for one year and uh, every night I was discreetly, you know, going and parking the motor next to Diana. <laughs> uh, and the truth is that the, with this repetition, you know, every day, every night, because she was, every night, there, she actually lived in front of the, uh, how do you say the name? The, 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 the corner? The, uh, the corner, uh, exactly. Yeah. So we were almost neighbors. Mm -hmm. So And that started to happen that every day, every night, you know, I was seeing her. And it's true that she became kind of a guardian, even for me. She was always the person that I would see before going to bed. But during this year, I never talked with her. We just would say, you know, good night, hi, good night. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what I felt after leaving the, that neighborhood, it's that she was really part of my life and she was kind of a confident, even in, on my, you know, personal stories. And uh, I would really feel that she was the one taking care, not only of the bike, yeah. also of the bike, of the motor, but also, I don't know, there was this presence. Mm -hmm. um, and so after when I went to talk with her, uh, it was really for me moving and that's the moment that I really decided to make the film. Yeah. Because uh, when I approached her, I was like, hi, I'm Diogo. And then she's <laughs> like, okay, I can recognize you. are that creepy dude that was <laughs> for one year. And I could suspect that, you know, there should be something artsy going on. Because I was not sensing another thing. And then uh, I explained her. I showed her my previous films. And then she was like, of course. Uh, and I think it's, uh, I think all my films have that side, in my opinion. It's almost um, a love letter to her somehow. And I say love letter, I say also this, uh, you know, for me at least, importance to bring her as a statue somehow of the city. Mm -hmm. Because when you walk around the cities, and uh, what's beautiful about Diana, it's really beautiful and moving. Because uh, even the place where she is during the night, mm -hmm. it was almost paved with the uh, shrimp gums because mm -hmm. she was there for, I don't know, 20, 30 years, what yeah. I yeah. after told me. 
So, you know, it was accumulating the shrimp gums during the night and the, the pavement is already like covered. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Like, you know, a, a sign of a presence there. Yeah. Yeah. And also because I feel, you know, I think this is, uh, I'm just talking about this because I think it's pertinent in the Teddy, you know, mm -hmm. uh, context. Uh, cities normally are really populated with these statues of, you know, male, bellish, war, heroes, something very, for me, hyper-masculine. Yeah. <laughs> and there's something about uh, the figure of Diana that for me, it was really a statue because, you know, uh, it's fantastic the way she incorporates all the uh, almost opposites in the sense of uh, uh, energy, you know, mm -hmm. still look at her that she's this really strong vertical uh, caring vibe. Yeah, and at the yeah. same time, she's really fragile, you know, by her own story. So these mix, at least for me, make her like, you know, very, uh, a statue that I really wanted to, uh, well, build in the yeah. sense. saiu de casa para entregar uma carta. Pelo caminho encontrou uma mulher que lhe disse Cuidado com o piso molhado, que é um perigo. I felt that um, you, you kind of you know, you, you brought her into the movie and the way she comes across is also in a sense that she is somehow larger than life, right? She right. is very much as if she had been standing there since right. thousands of years, you know, like a, like a, like a mm -hmm. goddess, basically. And there's, there's, um, it's almost like an, with an art background, you know, like new objectivity, a person and, and her background, sort of her tools. Mm -hmm. the, the the place she comes from okay. um you have a lot of uh, like very beautiful uh tableaus sort of in in the film mm -hmm. and one thing that impressed me the most is basically how you're able to tell a lot of story by just one image alone i mean i think one of the first images is gonzalo on on his moto and he's mm -hmm. talking to um an older man mm -hmm on the street and just by the fact that the older man has has a coat draped over his shoulders we already know that he's coming he's a, he has come down the stairs um and he cares about gonzalo in a way but there's also a bit of let's say professional distance between them mm -hmm. um how did you choose to to tell the story in those images because they're very very well constructed and they they, they tell a lot just by just by basically a fracture of a second that you look at him. Let me just brag you again, and I'm not trying <laughs> to be politically correct because it really touched me to hear that because some people don't even. <laughs> when I oh, say thank sometimes, you. I, uh, but I think that's another discussion. But I think sometimes, uh, um, and this is not a critique. I'm just saying that people, I think, are very used to focus too much on story. You know, like the p plot. And what you are saying for me, it's really touching because it means that you are open to receive all that information through the images, which is true. So uh, the idea you just said, it's uh, in theory would be his uh, psychologist that he was, you know, during the night going there because he's mm -hmm. suffering. But, you know, the guy, you know, basically, as we all have experienced when you are heartbroken, yeah. you, uh, well, only time. So maybe a pill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, can easy yeah. uh, and what you said for me it's also very important and I'm saying this because it's really something that uh, it's ingrained inside me which is always have 
space inside the shot. So that's why I have this love for maybe wide shots mm -hmm. that relates always people with the space, even the drama with the space, right? Because the space where you move yourself, it also uh, puts you inside a context, right? It's already framing you. Mm -hmm. So a film, a person, a place, it's a frame of a person in a frame, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I think all these layers somehow that's my well personal mm -hmm. opinion talks also a lot about empathy in the sense of the, that the drama it's not an individualistic thing but it's a human thing mm -hmm. you know it opens up it resonates yeah and and when you take out of the context of the functional context of the place you know i think it opens up it, it puts us, us all in that bar that she's singing you know what i mean yeah and and that for me at least it's Again, I'm not saying that I hate the what cinema is or isn't. Mm -hmm. I'm saying for me, I need this impulse of uh, uh, I have to use this word of love for yeah. uh, you know to put to wanting to put the you know camera. It's it's almost like when you take you took a photograph. Why you want to register that you know mm -hmm. uh, person moment? It it is important for you in your own history. What you can think it's important also for the history somehow of this place so it's it's uh, i just hope this is clear in the sense of it really comes from an admiration uh point of view uh well yeah <laughs> and certainly <laughs> an an inviting way of of shooting right there's all these white spaces Mm -hmm. um, that you have, particularly at at night, um, the the night streets, it's almost a little bit like you know, like like Edward Hopper, like a like a painting in that in that sense. Um, mm -hmm. And there is, well, yeah, you, in 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 that in that kind of scenario, you have Diana, sort of like an idol of herself, standing on the corner. Mm -hmm. No, but listen, uh, Jan, because uh, somebody asked me this before. Sorry to interrupt, interrupt you. No, sure. No. And, uh, even the, the, when I say the wardrobe, it's from Diana itself, uh, herself. I mean, okay. she has this, uh, it's really magnific. I mean, she, uh, that's what I, what I adore about her in the sense of she kind of, uh, how do you say, she a moderator of reality and what could be that's i think the theme of the film somehow of the three characters she turns what could be you know the first vision of uh, something sad or and sadness is there you know mm -hmm. tragedy is there you, you know you sense you know how the world works you know how society works but there's this uh, you know strength that comes from inside and she turns it into really this vibe of uh, yeah. you know radiation of uh, positiveness yeah it's true because be before Gonzalo basically meets her in the hospital, there's there's not much happy about his life at that moment, right? There's mm -hmm. uh, he's on the way on his moto, he's meeting his his therapist, and mm -hmm. and his heart has been broken. He's meant to deliver a letter, uh, mm -hmm. which is probably only going to break him more. And then mm -hmm. she basically picks him up with not much more than just her sheer goodwill mm -hmm. and that's that's very beautiful in that sense I, I kind of felt in in a way i mean correct me if i'm if i'm wrong about this but that it was sort of a little bit like a fairy tale in mm -hmm. the sense that you have also this voice over you know about mm -hmm. um the the kind of one day a sad man mm -hmm. um, um was on the way on the street and a woman stopped him and said that that kind of sounds a little bit like you know like something like the the, the fox leaving his hole meeting the hound or something you know i'm just saying it's totally right because that mm -hmm. was actually the idea to turn mm -hmm. it a little bit like an uh, allegoric tale mm -hmm. and it's talking about real things yeah you know what mm -hmm. i mean so it's again simplifying what sometimes we tend to turn into an opera mm -hmm. in relation to the others, in relation to the space. That's why in the end, I think, well, sorry, I, I should not be saying this because uh, <laughs> it was me. Well, actually, I'm lying because it was not me. Normally, even the sentences I write, it's things I've heard 
mm-hmm. uh, and sometimes I mix. And, 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 but when when she says in the end, uh, how is it? Um, when they said man uh, leaves home to deliver a letter in the, on his way, he meets this woman that says, "Be aware of the slippery, slippery, uh, slippery mm-hmm. road." Mm-hmm. Uh, and then she tells him, "Don't deliver it yeah. to him." Because it's too beautiful. Yeah. And that's what I feel. There's something about Tiana that it's almost a mirror that uh, that um, turns negativity, turns uh, what we read as tragic into something that, you know, uh, it's uh, stronger. Yeah. It's bigger than life, as you said. And that's what's... Uh, so extraordinary about her and i agree absolutely with you in the sense that there's something and i think it's the consequence it's almost it's it's actually politics in the sense of rejecting or really somebody that uh, face it and you can sense in her body in a way of being all kind of oppressions do you know yeah. what i mean and i think you you really and that's for me such a beautiful freedom to create the space where you express your sense of self you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And kind of like use these energies of oppression to, to, to grow out of it, to, mm-hmm. to do yeah, something else in, this, in their sense. Um, I, I kind of felt that um, there's this particular way um, with the apartment mm-hmm. and the, the owner and the real estate agent. And mm-hmm. in the end, we find that Gonzalo and, and, and Tiana are within that imp- apartment and they, they move the flowers. Mm-hmm. Um, was that an, an image for exactly that, for kind of a growing stronger to have those flowers there? Uh, yes, because for me, there was another sentence that I heard from a friend that really touched me. Mm-hmm. And that uh, it's saying what you just said in the balcony, the uh, it's a very well known actor here in Portugal, but the owner of the house, He's explaining to Gonzalo that his wife, that we realized passed away, she used to be very uh, moved by the way plants always find a way to go up to reach for the light. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me, that's a synthesis about all the characters. And you know what I mean? Like, we all somehow, at least for me, the most beautiful and complex plants, they, you know, mm-hmm. find their own way to create yeah. this form to reach what for you at least, you know, uh, makes sense. Mm-hmm. And it, yeah, and there's also this image that it's kind of inevitable, like sort of you, 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 you are going for the light, no matter what, mm-hmm. basically, mm-hmm. no matter what, what hindrance there is, no matter what uh, mm-hmm. uh, obstacles there are. In all senses, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Physical, cinematic, whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it is true. Yeah, um, are you still in, in contact with Tiana now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So actually, you know, after this, of course, we were uh, talking on the phone, and then mm-hmm. so like just really wanting this thing to be possible to get out of you know home for us to have a proper dinner celebrating because now it's uh, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Yes, no. We just communicate over the phone. Yeah. No, that's true. And I, I am very much kind of looking forward um, to maybe if, 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 if there's a, sp- a space for the Berlinale to take place in the summer to, um, you know, yes. see you guys then there. Yes. Because that would be... That very, is a, very exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be a whole other, other place, a whole other experience then. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Diogo. Are we I done? Think, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you for the beautiful words and the beautiful questions. I mean, thank you. Yeah. It's really important for I've, us sorry, to sound like, uh, I don't know, yeah. a little bit selfish, I've, but it really touches us when, uh, you know, we, we feel that we are in the same language. It's yeah. beautiful. No, and I felt that as well. Like, I, I've, I've, me, I've, I've seldomly seen a movie like that, which is so. Um, which is so able to kind of uh, tell a lot of story, which so with 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 so little space as well, right? Like with um, in mm-hmm. so little time, and mm-hmm. just by an image, 
and sort of inviting the world in. That's how I felt about it. Uh -huh. And that was very beautiful. <laughs> uh -huh. That's Thank you so much. Video of cinema. No, thank you.